It is really simple. To see its construction and the parts required, kindly visit my site. So let's see how it works. Right now it's programmed to turn around and move forward. So let's see how I program this. Now actually as you can see I have one more tab here which you can do it from here new tab and you write the name it's done and then I have initialized some functions and these functions are very useful because when you program it in the main loop it's so simple you just write like move forward and the robot is going to move forward and if you put, put delay two seconds so it's going to move forward for two seconds now how I made these functions are is like this now as you notice here the nine pin and the five pin are for the reverse direction of the motors and the pins 10 and 6 are for the forward directions so when we put it like move forward we just make the outputs 10 and 6 high so the motors will run forward and exactly like that move backward we just put the pin which rotate the motors in the opposite direction keep them high and put the other pins low and for the turn left and turn right now it's tricky all this all code can be can be different for you because it's it, it depends upon you what output pins you're using so for the turning left the left motor should run backward and the right motor should run forward for instance these pins are for my right motor and to turn it left as I told you the right motor should move forward so I just I'll just copy the code of these pins from this as you can see they are similar 9 low 10 high 9 low 10 high and turn the left motor on backward so I'll copy the backward code of these pins and put it in the turn left and that's how you make it and after that you just put move forward you just use this tag line over here the same tag line move forward move backward turn left turn right and just put it there and it's gonna work move forward turn left delay I'll just put it 1300 now this value the timing value it can vary on your motors because it depends upon your structure of robot the weight of the robot and the weight of your motors and everything so you should practice on what value the robot exactly make a 90 degree rotation now let's have some fun just put it a turn around and and see what it does